It's been a while since I did a YouTube video, so I thought I would do one for our class we did last night. It's about calculating z-scores for proportions. The formula for calculating z-score for proportion is z is equal to the sample proportion minus the null hypothesis divided by the null hypothesis times 1 minus the null hypothesis divided by the sample size. The data we used last night was 0.56 of adults were obese in 1995, 0.61 were obese in 2005, with a sample size of 484. The null hypothesis is equal to 0.56. That means we're saying we do not think that uh, people are getting any more obese or fat, in a word. So that's our null hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis is it's not equal to 0.56. So, we set up a rejection region. If z is anything less than negative 1.96, we reject. Or if z is anything greater than 1.96, we reject. The null hypothesis, which says that people are not getting any fatter, and we're getting these results by some random luck of the draw. So the z-score is plug and chug. 0.61, which is our sample proportion. We went on the sample of 484 people. That's what we got. 0.56 is our null hypothesis, divided by the square root of 0.56 times 1 minus 0.56, divided by 484. That equals, so we do the numerator first, which is 0 0.05 divided by 0.56 times 0.44, which is just 1 minus 0.56 divided by 484. Let's continue that on. 0 0.05 divided by the square root of 0 0.2464, which is 0 0.56 times 0 0.44, divided by 484. It's equal to 0.5 divided by the square root of 2.64 divided by 22, which is really just the square root of 484, which is equal to 0 0.05 divided by 0 0.496, which is the square root of 0 0.2464 divided by 22. Again, if we take divide 0.496 divided by 22, we should get uh, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.0225. That equals to 2.217. Now, for the tricky part, go back to the slide. 0 0.2121 is right there. So, the null hypothesis is rejected. This means we are not getting these results by some random chance. By the way, the p-value there would be 0.1036. That's all.